Hello friends and welcome back to Storytime with Mrs. Garcia. And today's story is about the market. Do you see that picture? It's not in color, it's in black and white, but it is a picture of the grocery store. And this story is called To Market To Market. Now, if you've ever heard the nursery rhyme to market to market, it is very similar because it has rhyming words and it talks about going to the store to buy things. To market to market. This story is written by Anne Miranda. Anne Miranda is the author and the author is the one that writes the words. Illustrated by Janet Stevens. The illustrator is the one who draws the pictures. Let's see what our story to market to market is about. To market to market to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. Look at that. She went to the store and bought a big giant pig and brought it home to her kitchen. That seems a little bit silly, doesn't it? To market to market to buy a red hen. Home again, home again. Uh-oh, that pig left a pen. Oh, can you find the pig? Look closely. Aha, uh -huh, it's hiding behind the fridge, but she doesn't see it. So she lost her pig and now she has a hen. Inside her house, she is a silly woman. To market, to market, to buy a plump goose. Home again, home again, uh-oh. The hen's on the loose. So now she bought a pig, a hen, and a goose, all inside her house. Do you think her house is going to stay very clean like that? I don't think so. To market, to market, to buy a live trout. Home again. Uh-oh, the goose was let out. So now she bought a large fish called a trout. She bought a pig, a hen, a goose, and a fish to bring inside her house. I wonder when she's gonna stop buying so many animals. It's getting destroyed. <gasps> to market, to market, to buy a spring lamb. Home again, home again, uh-oh. Away the trout swam. Oh, look at that house. What a mess, what a mess her house is becoming. She's got the pig eating the chips and the curtains on his back. The goose is in the sink. The hen is in the fridge. The fish jumped out of the bucket. And now a lamb inside her paper bag. Oh my. To market, to market for one milking cow. Home again? Uh-oh, where's the lamb now? She's looking for the lamb and she can't find it. Do you see the lamb? That's right, it is in the dishwasher. Oh my goodness. Lambs don't belong in the dishwasher, friends. To market, to market, to buy a white duck. Now the cow disappeared and I'm out of luck. Oh no, can you find the cow? How does a big giant cow disappear? Can you see it? Look closely. I see its tail hiding way in the back. And here's the pig, and here's the lamb, and here's the hen, and here's a new duck. And where, oh, where is that fish? Oh, the fish is under the little pig side. Oh no, what a mess. To market, to market for one stubborn goat. The duck flew the coop and the goat ate my coat. <gasps> the goat ate her coat and now she can't find anything. Look at that. When you go to the store, friends, do you buy animals? 
or do you buy something else? Hmm, what would you buy at the market? I would buy groceries. <laughs> this is the last straw, she yells. See the exclamation mark? That means she's mad. It's a shopping disgrace. Everything's running all over the place. Look at that mess, friends. Oh my goodness. I wonder what she's going to do about that. The pigs in the kitchen, the lambs on the bed, the cows on the couch, and there's a duck on my head. Oh boy. I don't think she's happy. The hens in the cupboard, the goose is there too, the goat's in the closet, and it's chewing on my shoe. I hope that wasn't her favorite shoe. Two markups. The trout's in the bathtub. This place is a zoo. I'm hungry. I'm cranky. Now what do I do? So her house is a mess and she's hungry and she's mad. Oh, I wonder what she's going to do. What do you think she's going to do? Let's see. To market, to market. Oh no, she's going back to the market, guys. <gasps> I hope she doesn't buy another animal. To market, to market, to buy some <gasps> potatoes and celery and beets and some ripe red tomatoes. Oh good, she's finally buying some groceries and not more animals. Some pea pods and peppers and garlic and spices. Oh, look at all those delicious foods. Looks like she's getting happy now. A round head of cabbage, a sack of brown rice and okra and onions and a carrot bunch. Home again, home again. Hot soup for lunch. So now she is cooking up some delicious lunch for her and all of her new pets. That's a big pot of soup, isn't it? Oh boy. They all ate their soup and fell asleep. Good night, silly lady and all of her animal friends. That is the end of To Market To Market. I hope you enjoyed my story today, friends. It was a silly story for sure, wasn't it? All right now, have a great day. See you next time, bye.